So today we are going to discuss about you know creating a calculated columns in a composite provider. So we already uh, have a good information about you know composite provider and uh, how we can perform union join and such kind of information. So this topic mainly related to the creation of some calculated columns in our composite provider. How can we create a calculated column? by right clicking on any of the uh, you know group you can have an option called create calculated field so why we need creation of calculated fields already we will get data from the sources so in such cases if you want to derive some fields generally what happen whatever you are adding to the composite provider either either it is a ads flow or any other composite provider or a calculation view um, if you bring if you wish to bring something from the ADS flow level, you need to edit the ADS flow and uh, you know activate it and then do data load everything right. For small columns where you can determine at composite provider level, it is easy for here. Okay, uh, so how we we can see now? Right click here, right click on the group, create calculated field. So how to do this one? So what is my example now? In my data set, I have a field called date. So here I don't have cal month. Um, one minute yeah so if I need a cal month field here do I need to create a calculated column not required by going to the output here I can assign a zero cal day to my info object and then by going to the navigation attributes I can derive all the time related information but what happen if I need physical period information is it possible so physical period here is not coming as part of this calendar day um, navigation attributes right so now this example i'm going to take so i want to derive physical period physical variant physical year information in my uh, output so how can i derive it let's see so let's start with a simple example and now i am going to create a physical variant column fisc variant okay so physical variant most of the times uh, we know we will provide it as a constant um, if it is only one so here i am going to keep a constant physical variant and now i am going to assign zero physical variant info object into this field so that it will follow the master data information also so i have a zero physical variant underscore e a master data info object i am assigning I want to hard code this physical variant as K4. If I want to hard code something in the calculated column, I must give the information in the single quotes. So click on OK. So I am done with creation a calculated column uh, and then calculate field, let's say calculated field and hard coded this information at K4. Now activate this and let's see how it is working. Okay. So it's good each and every step if we test it once whether our working or not now right click on the composite provider go to data preview here you know you can see physical year variant now drag it into the your row section now i can see here calendar year for so k4 so nice then whatever hard coded value i given it is working as expected so now my next example is now i am going to derive physical year okay in the date i have a year information uh, date in, in the date i have a year information now i am going to pick that year information and creating a new column called physical year for that fisc year is the column physical year and i am assigning this to info object zero fisc year okay then now what I'm going to, so from the date, I need to extract the year and then update uh, information to here, right? So to extract a year from a date, a year SAP provided few standard functions. Okay, so let's, you see, ABAP extract month, you see, ABAP extract date, month, second year, these are the some functions given by SAP. And uh, there are some few more functions here, current date, current timestamp, all these are related to dates date okay so you see extract a day extract hour extract minute month second year so uh, let's use this one extract year so using this extract year method i can derive the year from a date so how to within the brackets here there is no syntax option uh, syntax check option i don't see here so now we need to write it a little bit carefully okay so here this is the function because the function i need to 
you know put brackets after it and within the brackets i need to provide the date column so we need to write manually this date whatever the column name here from which we want to derive we need to write the date field within the double quotes so make sure that column name must match exactly with the column name of our uh, composite provider okay so date is the column name of my date field so i am providing that within the single co double quotes remember double quotes so click on okay field oh, sorry uh, yeah extract here so this extract here extracts the year information from this date click on okay button now activate your composite provider and then let's uh, do the data preview to check our column is working as expected or not now go to the data preview do refresh here now where is fiscal year you see fiscal year i am dragging fiscal year into my row section you see fiscal year also having some information 2022 very good it's working as expected so since it is a physical year so physical year always with the physical variant so system is taking care of all such things okay if i am going to physical year here info object yeah info object name fine it's taking care of remaining things now next thing okay now next thing is physical period so in order to bring the physical period so what i need to do uh, my phys my date is in the format of 2022 0 something let's take a, if it is a january 5th 010501 01. it means in in hana side always date stores in this format yyyy hyphen mm hyphen dd okay now my requirement is to generate physical period so physical period four wise and three m's okay it means 2022 0, 0, 005 this is the output what i am expecting from this date field okay so what i can do first of all either using the string operations i can perform it or using the other functions also i can perform it so to get more idea about using remaining functions let's take a little bit hardware only okay now what i am going to do first of all fisk per so I am not I am not going to assign the info object right away because I want to show a few other things. So let's take this length as seven. Okay. Now I am going to show you a method here. Extract month. So we have extract month information here. So double click on it, and within this give date. So if you extract the date from the month uh, month information from the data now let's see how the output sap is giving is it giving 0, 05 or 5 so sap here gives 5 it it won't prefix the 0 okay so that is the point what uh, we need to remember here so whenever i go here you see i am getting 1 2 3 5 where are zeros zeros are not there if it is 11 and 12 okay two digit number if it is a single digit then i will get like this only so for two pay, for if, for 11 and 12 i need to prefix with one zero and from one to nine i need to prefix with two zeros right so this is important that we must handle it properly so now go here go to edit so how can i uh, prefix zeros here sap given one more functionality called um, alphanumeric abap alphanumeric so if i go here using alphanumeric what is alphanumeric means alphanumeric means alpha conversion so based upon the length of the field it will perform the alpha append zeros prefix zeros right so i am using this alphanumeric function and this is the output of my month and then i am giving the length of this field as 3 so what will happen if it is a single month january to uh, ninth month it will prefix two zeros and if it is 10 9, 10 11 12 it will uh, prefix only one zero because the length is three at the end so i'm activating this one i'm going to data preview i am refreshing this now you see three digits month is came so i'm good so now finally what i need to do by prefixing the year to this uh, month I am done with creating the physical period information. So now go to here, edit. How can I bring this year information? We already seen um, uh, extract year. So we already seen extract year. So go to extract year. 
so not here it must be on the starting extract year and from here uh, for, I need to pass on date here so that from here I will get the date year sorry from here I will get here and then I am concatenating now I am going to use the concat concatenation operation operation here so concat so simply type here concat bracket open and then year comma month and then bracket close so it will pre it will concatenate both year and the month information here always four characters so we don't need to bother so it will take everything like this now go to here and do the data refresh now I got the physical year plus period so now what simply what I can since now the data is coming as expected now I can assign the info object to this field zero fisk per zero fisk per um, fisk variant is there huh? Mm, what is your fiscal year? Fiscal year, fiscal period three is there. Eh? I think your fiscal period not available here. Um, how come? Okay, anyhow, whatever it may be, uh, somehow it is not available. Fiscal, uh, fisc uh, open fiscal. Okay, whatever it may be, it is of fiscal period after line seven. I am assigning this here. Click on OK and click on activate. Uh, there is a problem something it is saying has to be compounded with physical variant so it is saying uh, this must be compounded with physical variant so we already have physical variant here so let's see where we need to compound uh, this information zero physical period okay okay maybe yeah when we are using zero of of per then maybe we need to put some other you know physical variant again let's remove this but at the end the intention of this example is to um, you know to how to create calculated columns here and how to use different uh, functions like uh, here we learned about how to use concatenation function extract month year and all and then you know substring for example if you want to derive a substring um, let's say month information okay instead of uh, using x uh, string uh, how to do this one string functions instead of using this extract month extract year and extract uh, you know date and all if you wish to use you know string uh, substring you know mid string functions string functions then how to do it let's do see one small example and finish off this topic I am creating a test column here uh, to finish this one I am going to notepad here there is an option called uh, we can type it here substring substring is one of the SQL function and if you go to Google also if you type for SQL HANA functions then you will get a list of functions all those functions mostly you can use it here you need to do a sample test and check whether they are working or not okay now I am using substring function date comma now you know as I told you the date in the in the HANA always was in this format so in order to bring the month information I need to bring from 5 to 2 not from 4 from 4 it is a hyphen so almost it is like a 4 5, 6 from 6 I need to bring two characters click on like this click on OK button and uh, length I uh, not this much length let's keep it uh, 10 as an example because it is a test column now activate this so when we go to interview questions and all instead of saying I know composite provider I know how to perform join you know how to perform union if you explain you know I know how to create calculate columns I got a requirement to create some you know calculate columns on the composite provider if you say these kind of examples now the other parties may get impressed okay you see the con the mid string for substring function working as expected and deriving the month information also okay i hope you enjoyed the session stopping recording